Hi, I'm Jason Parsons. I'm the executive chef here at Peller Estates Winery Restaurant. And what do I do? Well, I'm all about food and wine. In fact, I work closely with our winemaker, Katie Dickinson, to really find those perfect pairings. And here in Ontario, we've got the most food-friendly wines you can possibly get. I mean, fruit forward and just vibrant when it comes to really pairing that dish and finding those really great nuances that we were looking for. You may think, well, how do I do this at home? Not everybody has a winemaker in the cellar that you can ask tons of questions to. Well, here in Ontario, we've got tons of winemakers, even the great staff at the LCBO that are dying to tell you all the things that they've learned about the wines that they're selling. You know, you've got to go in there, ask them some great questions, and they're going to help you find the perfect wine for you. So here we are now in my garden, and I'm surrounded by chives and sage and tomatoes, and well, we had some raspberries, but I ate them already. But I wanted to kind of give you some tips on food and wine pairing. A lot of people come to me and they're like, you know, I'm in the grocery store and I'm buying salmon, but how do I know which wine to buy? And I'm like, well, you know, you can adjust your cooking styles to basically the wine. So why don't you go out and buy a Chardonnay? You haven't had a chance to try it yet. So come home before you start cooking, try that Chardonnay. And then if it's a little bit of a lighter crisp, then why don't you just poach that salmon? Even take a bit of the wine and poach it in it, fantastic. But you know, if you open it up and that Chardonnay's full bodied, oaky, rich, well then grill that salmon or, or pan roast it. You can make the food work with the wine. And that's a really cool thing to think about, but you need to know the ingredients you're working with. Another idea is to watch the intensity of the food and wine. And what I mean by that is, you know, a big cabernet or, you know, something that's really rich and oaky, like a full bodied Chardonnay or, you know, some of those really robust wines, they're not gonna go with a cucumber sandwich or a little delicate salad. You know, and then you've got those lighter, crisper, you know, like a Pinot Gris or a Sauvignon Blanc that's a lot more fruit forward. Uh, you wouldn't put that with a roast beef. I mean, here at Palo States, we do a burger with cheddar and bacon already in there. You know, it's nice and flavorful. So we're going to put like a Merlot or a Cabernet with that, something that's got the flavor that can match. The idea is when you taste the food and you taste the wine, they both sing. And that's the key. So now I've given you some tips on how to pair food and wine. I want to hear from you. You know, go on to our Wine Country Ontario Facebook and share some of these great ideas. You've got tips, you've got recipes. Think about comfort food, things that, you know, people are going to cook at home. And then uh, we can post them up and, you know, basically share with our community. We want to hear from you. <laughs>